why we study in, in our course of uh, marine transmission, this transmission, because uh, if you understand this transmission and the automatic transmission, the next chapter, uh, you understand easily the marine transmission because the marine transmission is a perfect combination of uh, both of them. All right, my friends, we are going to check the components of, uh, of, the, of the manual transmission, uh, but uh, basically we have an input shaft. The input shaft of the transmission, this shaft, is connected with the flywheel, the flywheel of the engine. This is the flywheel. Uh, the input shaft of the transmission enter, release on, a, on the flywheel on the transmission because the input shaft of the transmission enter in a, in a small bearing located in the, in the flywheel. That bearing, that bearing is the pilot bearing. The automatic transmission have this configuration. It's the engine, the engine here, the clutch, the transmission, uh, the drive shaft, and the differential in the back. That's the differential. Yeah, the differential, the differential receives the input shaft here and the outputs are moving like this. That's the input shaft and those are the output shafts moving each, each one in the same direction. All right. Okay, and uh, the marine configuration is pretty similar to the automotive configuration. This is the marine configuration. Yes, we replace the end for the propeller. You, if you see in this side we have the engine this is the engine and uh, in this side we have the transmission okay and uh, it's uh, it's uh, wonderful because uh, this is uh, this is the bell housing and uh, the, the bell housing is in between this point and this point okay and the rest is the transmission inside of the bell housing we have the clutch if you see the clutch uh, we have uh, the clutch pedal that the clutch pedal, when you apply the clutch pedal, you move back and forward the release bearing, the thrust bearing. That, that bearing compresses the pressure plate. When the pressure plate is compressed, this element goes out and the friction, the friction material, the friction plate, the friction plate here is moving free. In that moment, with the, with the chief control, with the chief control, you can organize the gears, first gear, second gear, third gear, because uh, because in this moment those 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 shafts are independent. Uh, the input shaft of the transmission is not connected with the crankshaft of the engine. This element is spinning at the same speed that the input shaft of the transmission. Where is located the friction plate? The friction plate. This is the flywheel and the flywheel is bolted on the crankshaft. This element is spinning against the face of the flywheel. When the transmission is disconnected with the engine, this element is spinning free. When the transmission is engaged with the engine, this element is together. Why? Because this is the other element, the pressure plate. The pressure plate is composed by one disc, metallic disc, with a flat surface that is in contact with the friction plate. The friction plate, at the end of the day, will be in contact between the pressure plate and the flywheel. When this element is compressed, because you ap apply the clutch pedal, this element goes out, goes out, and the friction disc right now is spinning free, and the transmission is disconnected with respect to the engine. Once again, if the clutch pedal is applied, if the clutch pedal is applied, the thrust bearing is producing pressure on the springs and, and this metal is moved back and the friction plate is spinning, is spinning free. If the, if the clutch pedal is not applied, this element is separated, the thrust bearing is separated and the pressure plate is pressuring, is pressuring uh, the friction plate against the flywheel and the engine is connected with the transmission.